Welcome back to Ace of Sakai. <laughs> We're trying something new today. We're joined by Moto, aka Mo, and Prince of All Saints. Saints. <laughs> we're gonna be fixing fucking it. I'm your host Suhail, and we're gonna be getting it started today. Talk about the spring finales that we didn't get to talk about. We're catching up on it. Before anything, we're gonna start and talk about easily the spring anime of the year, Kaiju Number Eight. We're gonna talk about the spring finale. Um, the it was year. finale was labeled Kafka Hinobi. Uh, Amy, take it away. Fuck, I don't remember what happened. Oh shit. The, so fight the final fight, the fight finish, Remember? and then he basically got, you know, he's oh, now reinstated. Part of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got reinstated, right? He had the he had the fight then, with, with the commander. Yeah, and then his squad uh, all got distributed to different groups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, not all of them. Well, I think only two chose. No, uh, because are... um, the other dude decided to stay, and um... all of them. Yeah, stay. All of them because the 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 divisions. Destroyed. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. They have no more place to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. Until they come but, back and rebuild it yeah, and all that shit. Yeah, they build, yeah. Um, uh, I know in the chat I said that for me it did not like you know reach the peak it needed to for a finale because I felt like the other two episodes before it exceeded it in terms of just quality, quantity, animation, storytelling, the suspense. We were legit like what the fuck is going to happen? What the fuck's happened? Even though when Kaiju number 10 got destroyed, and then when he fought the freaking Admiral with the number 2, that was all epic. I think where I'm disappointed is because you called this, Amy, in the beginning, when we st first started watching it, we're like, he needs to go through the Aaron Yeager route, where they have to accept him, and he's going to work with them as a machine or a weapon to help them in the future to fight the Kaijus. I kind of... Wait, before... Are we hearing? Are you guys hearing me from the mic or the computer? I I don't know. Doesn't matter. I don't know. We're hearing which, you. Which uh, city did you pick? Click oh, on the mic. Spot. It didn't really give me an option to pick anything. No, it's, it's, it's on the. Kick. Uh, one second. I'll. Yeah, I don't know. Hey, hey let me. Oh yeah, here. I see let... MacBook built in. I see Yeti X. Uh, your speakers. Your microphone is MacBook uh, Pro mic. Yeah, it's not the. Oh no, it's Yeti. Now it's Yeti. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah, better. All right, That's continue. Better. Sorry about that. Go ahead. All right, so yeah, so since you already called it, I kind of, it became a little cliche for me, and that's why I a little felt a little let down because you already said this is probably the route they're gonna go, and I don't find like you know, as far as Kaiju Number Eight, it is one of the most uniquest anime, like you know, bringing Godzilla into this world or Godzilla type mecha beings into this world and making it like a human versus. Uh, Godzilla and on equal grounds, maybe, but I just for that the fact that they went the Attack on Titan route, it just it dropped the score for me. I just like the finale was a little too let down. It, I so I don't think they went they went Attack on Titan route. I think they went every anime route. It was you cannot just say it's Attack on Titan route. We have seen people we've seen and i can't think of any animes right now but it, it was a cliche ending for attack on titan 2 they were going to train him and they were going to use him this happened in movies a lot no attack on titan ending was after Andy got captured and he fought her and then the wall broke and then we saw that no, attack. What, there I, were 26 what, I, what i meant when i when i so kaiju number eight the last episode was a 10 out of 10 five out of five also for me it was it was a solid episode i had nothing but positive things to say about it and, and it wasn't even that I was complaining about that they will go attack on Titan route. It was a cliche thing. It was expected because that's what animes do. A lot of these animes, this is the route they would have taken. There's no other way of going around it. Yeah, that's what I was going about to say. Like, how would you they go went, other way? Unless, like, they, they hunt them unless, down? Like, unless they went uh, Uchiha route where they, where they came and recruited uh, our boy Sasuke. But that doesn't make any sense in this anime, right? Well, or if that the, been, the whole division that got destroyed and they're like, oh, we're going to kill him. The division's like, nah, we're going to remake ourselves. They go off brand and they become a new division or new power, whatever, protectors of the vigilante. You, you can't really, we already knew when they find out that he's the kaiju, they were, they were going to come after him. That's, they all, they've been saying it from the beginning. We use the strong kaiju, we make weapons out of them and we, we, we fight kaiju. Our boy I mean, Go ahead. I, you just can't create a different route, right? Because Kefka Hibino is no entity, right? So you can't run away. 
Yeah, so, you, you just can't. You just can't. Yeah. The only route is that he had to prove that he's able to manage the power. Which he did. And that's it. Which, which he did. did, right? That's the fact. And I do but there was no other route, right? Like, Yeah, he, yeah. I don't see it. I, and it's not a negative yeah. thing to say, but I do see that com the commander see, gave him. This is the whole reason. I'll give you another anime that will help you remember. Tokyo Ghoul. It kind of did the same thing. But that's a th And it dropped. And it dropped in everything. It dropped in reviews. It dropped in rating. People started calling it cliche and boring and it wasn't the same as the first two seasons they said that they shouldn't have gone this route him being the dark savior would have been the better route and then then the using the whole thing working with the garment and everything like that it made it cliche and i i don't want kaiju to feel that way it wasn't clean so okay that's why i said that's why i said if they added this part in the middle and then showed kaiju number 10 that suspense and then maybe like you know it could have exploded and then just ended at that that could have been cliffhanger. I felt like a cliffhanger because we were getting cliffhanger after cliffhanger after cliffhanger, and end of the season should have been a cliffhanger. I think it was a cliffhanger. What are you talking about? It was nothing but a cliffhanger. They got no, accepted. Kai when Naruto stupid and when they when Jiraiya and Naruto went away, Kai number like nine came guy. out and he said, "I know how to kill him now." There were there was a cliffhanger. And uh, would I have liked? You know, Kaiju number nine. Would I have liked He's a different? Tomorrow. Would I have liked a different direction? Yes. In the beginning, I did say that. They should have stretched it out a little bit more where he was a part of the team. And anytime the team is in a dire situation, life or death, Kaiju number eight comes out of nowhere, right? Comes in, saves the day, and leaves. And then eventually season two or three, once they have like, they had, once they had like that impeccable family bonding, that's when he, that's when he should have been caught. Um, that to me would have been a better story, but that doesn't take anything away from Kaiju number eight. I think what they have delivered from episode one to episode 12 or 13, solid. Everything's solid. Five out of five. 12. 12? Five you know five. what? That's one thing I actually appreciate the fact that they didn't go the solo leveling route and give us a crappy ass filler episode to recap. This anime did what a lot of animes haven't done which is every week has been a banger. Every fucking week has been... They've, they've upped it. They've they've topped it from the previous week, and they've given us a banger. This show is a, for me, is a five out of five, probably the anime of the year so far. It's competing with Kingdom. It, it, it's phenomenal. See, that's what I want to come back to. Now, that's the second point. Remember, we kept on saying this is potentially anime of the year mm -hmm. after the finale i don't think it is a kingdom was far superior it just was in terms of quality kingdom did give us more cliffhangers kingdom gave us more suspense kingdom gives more quality story writing and animation and we were so invested in the characters as much as i was Kaiju invested was great, in this show there were cliffhangers after cliffhangers there was for me a season five excelling and being better than the previous season and i can't say any and neither can you or moto there has never been a bad kingdom episode there has been bad kingdom episodes like I, i'm not gonna like write it down. saying that every kingdom episode is a is a top or no I, I don't agree with that i mean that's not true for kaiju either though yeah the that's episode, I'm saying the finale, i feel like the finale like you said the fin it kept on going up and up and up i felt like the finale was the word down. It, it went like this, and then no, it took I, think a finale, I think the finale fight was absolutely amazing. The fact there was that no he, fight in finale. The fact that he's able to move his stuff, and the fact that we got when he was fighting the commander, the, com the commander almost died. I think the commander was quite lenient with Kaiju number eight. The fact that we're, we're getting a new team just for him, I, I think they did what they could have done with season one, 12 episodes, almost a four or five out of five every goddamn episode. <laughs> We haven't had a show like this, to speak, you know, to be honest. Freeman. Fuck Freeman. Garbage ass show. Freeman was amazing. I think Freeman, Freeman, was, Freeman was amazing. Was like, I'm just saying. See, I mean, I, it's a, it's a good again, show. Again, that, that, that cliche part, I felt but like it did you're not, not the justification end. is garbage. You're saying. No, it's, again, you're I'm saying, not calling it garbage. But again, I'm, saying I'm not calling it garbage not once. I'm saying your justification doesn't make any sense. You're saying the cliche part. But you're not telling us what they what route they could have gone. This is the only direction they had. Again, again, I'm telling you, I'd rather they have gone this this exact explanation about him being part of it a little earlier than the finale. I felt like no. the finale. No, I think it should have been later. Like I told, like I was telling Moro, I think it should have been season two. 
they should have had some more bonding time. But for a finale, I think I, I can't take anything away. I think this should have been season two. They should have had him in the team. Any, I was telling Moro, any time situation was dire, the team is about to die or something is about to die, Kaiju number eight comes in like Batman, saves the day and just disappears. And they're still trying to figure this shit out. And he's working on the inside. Not He knows what's going on, but he's not giving up. I think that would have been better for me. But am I disappointed? Absolutely no. Did the fight live up to the expectation? Absolutely yes. Do we know Kaiju number eight so far is the strongest Kaiju at, out there? Yes. Do we have questions? Fuck yes. Did, did, it leave, did, did it leave the show on a cliffhanger? Yes. We still don't know what's going on. Kaiju number nine came out and said, I know how to kill him. We still have no idea what's going on. Why are they attacking him? Why are they trying to take over? This is what Health Paradise should have done. This is no, we can't compare. We can't compare Hell's Paradise. I can't because the first two episodes of Hell Paradise was what I got out of Kaiju Number Eight. I think Chainsaw Man is closer to Kaiju Chainsaw than that number, in okay, terms of Chainsaw quality Man and I've delivery. Twice. I've seen Chainsaw Man twice. I like um, Kaiju's better. I like Kaiju better like in terms Chainsaw of quality. Man, but I think in terms of CGI, in terms of music, in terms of animation, comedy, action, action Chainsaw Man was pretty good. I can't take that away. I think equal action might be equal. Yeah, it, it's 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 good. But an, animation, I'm going to give it a chance on man. But bro, there were some the scenes opening, in Chainsaw Man. The introduction that was music, just incredible. I, I don't I don't give a fuck about music. I picked, oh, yeah. I picked up music on Kaiju Number Eight. I don't yeah, give a fuck made about music. I mean, except, except for Wano Art. <laughs> Pretty sure that's not it. Pretty sure it's not it. Wait, I'm not done. I'm not going to hit on One Piece right now. Back to it. Okay. I think Kaiju number eight, great show. Free run, I wasn't a fan of. I know people loved it. That's fine. I thought it was too slow for me. Kingdom, again, Kingdom has been established from season one to season five. I love Kingdom. It is my, I think at this given point, it is my number one show. Kingdom. You cannot. But I bet you Kingdom's not winning it. I bet you Kingdom's not winning it. It's yeah, it's, it's, it's not it's, it's, mainstream, right? Like the, No, the, it's not that. Because One Piece is winning it all. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I get it. One Piece has been a banger. One, One Piece has been a banger. Um, this whole entire arc has been really good, right? I get it. But Kingdom, man, like it's it's the kind of show that just leaves me when I'm watching it. It's so fucking powerful, right? But we're not talking about yeah. Kingdom. We're talking about Kaiju. Yeah, I was gonna, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna yeah, come I was like, oh, uh, uh. Kaiju doesn't have that that factor where it keeps you at the edge of the seat. It's a phenomenal fucking show. It's it's an amazing show, right? I love watching Kaiju. It's one of those it's one of the guilty pleasure shows that you're like, fuck it, makes you feel good when you when yeah. you're done watching it. But Kingdom makes you feel something else that Kaiju cannot make you feel. It's just a different story arc, but. If I have to rate both shows, they're both five out of five for me. That's fair. That's fair. I'm not saying that. And I'm not I disagree. Again, it's gonna win um all the newcomer awards, like just yeah. like Chainsaw Man. I think Chainsaw Man was nominated like 18 times. Mm -hmm. I think Kaiju might be the same and might end up winning a little bit more than Chainsaw it Man did. It should. And right and rightfully so. Bro, the because a lot of people maybe. did complain. Bro, a lot of people did complain that JJK amazing. should not have won. Bro, the intro is amazing. Who fucking watches intro every fucking week? Yeah, intro has like, been intro is fire. The media biz intro is amazing. Comedy with their milk. I don't remember any comedy in <laughs> That's just hilarious. Boobs and all That's that just hilarious. I still remember the fucking milks coming out of his fucking nipples. That shit was yeah. comedic genius, bro. Like it wasn't pushed on you. It, it was just I think this is a show that you could watch again and you would still laugh at the fucking joke. Nothing was pushed on. Action was fucking amazing. CGI was fucking amazing. Music. I, like I said, I never pick up music. I picked up music on this show. It was so fucking thrilling, bro. It, it had you like, fuck yeah, right? So for me, five out of five, no complaint. Even last episode could have been better. Yes. So what do five. you rate that? So rate? Fine. The whole anime is five, five out of five. What's the last episode rating? Are you giving it a five out of five? I would love to give it a four point five, but it's a four out of five. Okay. Moro, your thoughts? Four out of five. I don't have much thought. It was a good ending. I enjoyed it. I, I, I don't have the complaint. I, I, cliche or not cliche? I mean, I mean, cliche for me is not even like a bad thing if you do it right. 
So uh, I, I thought they did a, they executed it well. It's the first season. Obviously, the weight compared to Kingdom at that point is non-existent, right? You know the characters versus you don't know the characters. Yep, yep. Uh, for first season, I think it's one of the more fun first season I had in a long mm-hmm. time. Mm-hmm. You could compare it to the the other great first season animes. It did have a very good, strong full twelve episode. Uh, every episode was entertaining, and valuable. Um, so yeah, it was four out of five for me the whole season, and that it's a uh, it's really good. It's really good. It's fantastic. I just decided to do five and five for like just mass masterclass. I, I would like to add something else. <clears throat> if we did not compare the last episode of the season to previous episodes, this would have been a five out of five. The fact that they, agreed, yeah, agreed. The fact that they've given us bangers after bangers, and then this that's one exactly just why drops was, a little yeah. bit. We're like four out of five. Otherwise, well, I, I'll say this: like, like what. I have to give the animators props, right? First of all, like very technical things such Papa as like, killed it. like they Papa cover killed it. 38 chapters in 12, 12? episodes, 12 episodes, 38 chapters, which is, again, if you compare it to other shows, it, it, that's a phenomenal pacing and it didn't feel rushed. It felt great pacing, perfect pacing, actually. Uh, so it was it was amazing. I, I think it's more due to on the story side, like the peak peak moment. Like if you if you want to talk about like the greatest moments of all time in anime, I just don't think there was ever a moment that kind of got to that point. It, it can't. Uh, okay. It's it's hard. It's hard to do it in season one. No, but it still can't, bro. Like I, I was thinking about it. It cannot. The show is a five out of five, hands down, right for me. But when I compare it to the legendary anime and the moments like Super Saiyan 1, uh, for yeah. Alchemist moments, Attack on Titan moments, it cannot get there because it's a different kind of show. And no, for me there is. Okay. When, he, he when he punched 10 and he came down, he was just standing there with his force wheel coming out. And then when he looked at Mina with his one eye, it still doesn't. It still doesn't matter. It, 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 does, it, it great, doesn't. It's in great because that's the most badass moment. That to me reminds me of that badass Zoro moment. That's I, would, what I, would like, I would like for this show to be up among the tops. And I'm hoping before we end... Well, it's too early. No, that's what that. I'm saying. I'm hoping as it continues in season two, season three, and so on, please, I want this to be, I please want all continue to be the greatest of all time. Huh? I know. It's already renewed for season two. No, no, I'm saying please it. continue the trajectory. Please make it a banger. So, please. Bro, that's I'm my, begging. That's my final question before we like you know end this topic. Um, I also rate the same exactly as you guys said, four out of five final episode, five out of five in terms of the whole season. Just because I'm giving the finale four doesn't mean it's not a perfect anime. Check every single box. Post. I'm going to recommend this for the rest of my life. Uh, I can't wait for Anime NYC to rep this whole co- uh, mm-hmm. costume. But now we're going to talk about the future. I already know that Moto knows what the, what's going to happen in the manga. And a lot of people that read the manga have been disappointed. Really? Yes, they have been disappointed. They well, said it slows down. It the they said the beginning. Oh, is the good. yeah. The pacing slows down very, and it becomes very stale. Like it feels like the direction is not clear. Um. So no, I, I, don't I, was, know, I don't know. I, I don't know so, if I agree with that. Right, that statement. I think the issue with the the story is that I don't think you feel the difference in the weight of the story being told. Hmm. Right, it just feels like it's just a continuation of similar things. There is some heartwarming moments, and I think with this show being an action-oriented, anime-oriented show, I, I think it's going to be phenomenal. But again, I I agree with the people who say that this is not like One Piece, ALT. Like, yes, it doesn't have a story that will you know make your mind go. Damn. Right. So, but yeah. it's a fun okay. action. So... It's a fun. Done. That's gonna be that better. Was, so, b- yeah, without spoiling, without, What's your let me ask you a question. Since you've read the manga, without spoiling, is is it going to be better than season one, or the same? I mean, I don't, I don't know. I mean, what what are they gonna do with the animation? Like, if you accept it as an action, fun action anime to watch, which season one was, and you're okay with that, if they up the animation. And the fight gets more intense, and you get to see more of the, you know, the squadrons across Japan, and see the combats. Like, yeah, 
it's going to be better. Uh, but if you're expecting like a deeper, yeah, we, thought, we did see the number one division's uh, captain. Yeah, Narumi. Uh, yeah. Uh, right. So, DM. yeah, exactly. So it, it depends on what you're, what you like, what you don't like. I mean, if you're a big fan of like storytelling, like ALT and One Piece, yeah, you, you're not gonna be like, oh, this is gonna be the greatest anime. Okay. No, it's not. It's I, not. W- I would like to add no. something. We did see that Kaiju number eight was one punch manning everyone. I would like to see more of a fight. Yes, you will. You will see that. Okay, yes. good. Yeah, good. I, I, stuff I, I'm done. I think this. Is- see, like, like you, like you said, right now, I think Kaiju number eight is the strongest, but we all know Kaiju number nine is going to come back with some shit. Yeah, he he's already morphing, right? At the end, you yeah. saw kind of him shedding the old skin. What is that? Well, I don't want to say that. And another thing. No. Because Kaiju number ten. <laughs> Never mind. Because Kaiju number ten did a coordinated attack, that goes into question like. What else out there? Kaiju number 11. Oh, who are these people? Where are they coming from? Kaiju number two, we need to find out. Also, one more thing. Have they revealed... Oh, no. Kaiju number two, we already found out about no, but it. We don't know the details why he was the strongest one they had. And also, one more thing. In the manga, have they revealed why they're attacking? Or is it just like, oh, we want to take over planet Earth? Spoiler. Uh, no. no, I'm not going to say anything. But have they revealed no. it? No. Said, okay. Say but Okay. Now, expectation, Amy. Um, <laughs> what's, the, what's the direction you think they're going to go? I hope. Since you called it already. With, Moto has already said the story is not as, um, is not yeah, as he kept it wise. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But you already know the manga, right? But Moto has already said the story is oh. not as wise or clever as Attack on Titan, right? Okay. But that's but, not saying much. Come on. I, I, I use those examples because like those two are like well, arguably well, no, the that's, right? that's that's pinnacle yeah. storytelling. So we have to use yeah. that. And we're calling it an anime of the, the year category. That's what we gotta expect, right? Ooh. I am Ooh. yeah. <laughs> I, I kind of I kind of take it down to be like it's a great anime and I'm No, if you're given something five out of five, there has to be a reason that's backing it up. Now I'm expecting some development, some in season two I'm expecting power ups. Better fighting, CGI animation, music. Please maintain it. I don't even think you could up it. Like this has been amazing. See, of course you can. For me, of course for you me, can. Uh, go if you stay this route and you go this route. I'm happy. Uh, just don't go the Demon Slayer route because you're not winning if you don't have the animation. Um, so I, I'm okay it being a great anime and being in the middle of 4.5 and 5, just like going all of, like that throughout the whole trajectory. I mean, let's yeah. let's be honest. We're kind of spoiled. One Piece is just popping off. You know the weight of that. Oh, One Piece hasn't even peaked. It's so I exciting. mean, just think about we just we were talking about Kingdom Heights, the fifth season, and you, you got a show right now that's going like twenty seven years strong. So it's always hard to compare those things. We're getting spoiled quite a bit, uh, but I, I thought it was fantastic for a season. That was beautiful. I loved it. Like, just enjoy the ride, man. Just enjoy the ride. Yeah, let's enjoy it. <laughs> All right, You're right. So. We are done talking about Kaiju number eight. It is a fantastic anime. If you're new to anime or if you're a veteran, please go watch this. Make sure you put this on your list. You'll be excited. You will never be disappointed. Laughter, comedy, action, story, animation, music. It is just gets better and better. We're going to wait for season two. Until then, make sure you like and subscribe. Us three will be back. Peace out. Peace. Stop this.